here's one thing I, I really want to say, um, because this is something that veterans have almost never gotten in the past. Remember, in order, if you're not working, you have to have, according to the VA, a 60% rating for one thing or combined 70% with at least 40% for something else. Okay. And that's in order to get 100% under unemployability. But that's not all. If let's talk about people who have headaches, the highest rating you can get for a headache is 50%. I have migraines. Migraines are horrible. If you have not been able to work because of the migraines and your doctors have been talking about that, you haven't been working, you're entitled to that going back to when that started if you have an ongoing claim. You, you shouldn't settle for a 50% rating. But the way that these are evaluated, the regional office is supposed to have sent your claim to central office. And the central office is supposed to have looked at your medical records and decided whether or not these headaches keep you from working. Once they make a decision, if it's no, you can appeal that all the way up to the board. These are claims that have not been looked at, used. I am getting so many. I just got another one from a person who had he didn't meet that 60% for one thing and 70% for another. Um, and they went back and gave him, it went to the central office and they gave him 100% under TDIU back to 2013, where prior to that, he was only getting it 2019. I had one veteran who only had a 30% rating, but it was a physical thing. He could not do his job. And they went back 15 years for a 30% rating uh, on his back. So remember those are out there and only you know what, whether you've had this rating, whether it's kept you from work and whether the medical records are talking about the fact you can't work because of that. If they do, that's an inferred claim. The VA should have looked at that, but they don't. So you need to know what you've got.